If you're planning to visit Niagara from Toronto, GO Train finally has a direct connection year round. Compare that to previously where service was a bit more patchy and you had to transit at Burlington Station and switch to a bus to get to Niagara. So in this video today, let's talk about how you can find the GO Train schedule, how long it takes to get to Niagara Falls from Toronto, how much the ticket costs, and also stick with me to the end of this video because I will tell you how you can save 60 to 75 percent on GO train tickets. So let's start. There are mainly two types of connections from Toronto to Niagara Falls. The first connection is taking the train to Burlington and then switching to a GO bus which will then take you to Niagara bus terminal. And that will take you anywhere from 2 hours and 40 minutes to 3 hours. And certainly there are other connections which last longer and where you have to transit twice but let's not talk about those. And then the second connection is the direct connection which we'll talk more about in this video. And this one will take you from Toronto all the way to Niagara and it will only take you two hours. So the first connection, the train bus connection will take you to Niagara bus terminal while the second connection, the straight connection will take you directly to Niagara Falls Go. Both of these terminals are located very close to one another. There are many more reasons why I prefer to take this direct connection to the straight train bus combination. It's much faster and more convenient. Come on, you save about an hour on your trip. And if you have some luggage with you, it's also much easier to take the direct connection because if you take the train and then have to switch to the GO bus, then you will need to take down your luggage and you will need to load it again on the bus or in the compartment under the bus and it's just too much of a hassle, I think. And also, if you're traveling with a group and especially with older people and maybe children, toddlers, it's much more convenient and comfortable if you can sit and stay on the same train for your entire journey instead of switching to a bus and trying to find seats again. And that's also one thing with the seats. What I found is that when you take the GO train, you have much, much more options in terms of seating. There will always be empty seats around and in most cases, you will be able to find four seaters where you as a group can sit together, which is not the case with the GO buses. Many times when I take the GO bus, it is quite full to the rim. And if you're a group of three to five people, then in all likelihood, you would need to split up and that's not a really fun way to have a trip right now let's go on and talk about the train schedule but before i continue if you found this video useful so far then please do let me know by hitting the like button i would really appreciate that and now let me show you how you can find the train schedules and remember that this direct connection is year-round available but only on the weekends so simply go to Go Transit website, which is gotransit.com and simply enter the station where you're departing from. And for this example, let us just use Union Station Go and going to Niagara Falls Go. And let's pick a weekend, for example, November 12th here, Saturday. And let's say that earliest you want to depart at 6 a.m. So let's just click on plan your trip and look at the train schedules. So right away, you can see that there are a few connections, but what all of these have in common is that you need to transfer to a bus so it doesn't go straight to Niagara Falls so we do not want this now let's go on let's check out 6 30 and again only trips with bus connection let's do this for 7 a.m also again only trips with bus connection and lastly we're getting there 7 30 update and here if you scroll down you can finally see that there's a straight connection from Union Station to Niagara Falls Go departing at 10 7 arriving at 12 13 and the trip time is in total two hours and six minutes so to find your direct connection, you simply just gotta pick an hour and click your way through until you get to a direct connection. Unfortunately, I didn't see any filtering function on the website that would have made things much, much easier. But anyway, let's look at the direct connection now and go to details. Here, the LW Niagara Falls Go departs at 10.07 from Union Station and then there are five stops in between Exhibition Go, Port Credit Go. Port Credit, by the way, is a really nice area. You can just briefly stop by there and take a look at Port Credit. And then there's Oakville Go, Burlington Go. Usually with the train bus combination, you would need to transit here. Burlington Go, Aldershot Go, and then Niagara Falls Go arriving at 12.13. So pretty great, right? Two hours really goes by in no time. 
time. By the way guys, earlier I also made a video about my trip from Toronto to Niagara Falls but using that train bus combination just in case you're curious to know how the trip went, you can check out this video up here. Now let's go on to the next really important thing which is ticket price. How much do these tickets cost? So whether you take that train bus combination or this direct connection, the ticket prices are almost the same. It's only a different of cents. So let's just check out the price details for the direct connection and click on details. Go on fare details here. So here guys, you will see two options. There's a standard fare and a presto fare. The standard fare is always more expensive. So here for adults, it's $21.15, whereas the presto fare is $17.79. You can also see that there are discounts for senior and youth and children up to age 12. This is really good news. Do not have to pay for their ticket. But in general, for any fare, it's always cheaper if you use your presto card. And in case you do not know what a presto card is, if you're new here in Canada, a presto card is simply a mode of payment that you can use to pay for your trips on the TTC and on the Go Transit system. And just in case you want to know how you can get this presto card, how you can buy it, then you can check out this video up here where I explain to you how it works step by step. And now you might be wondering how to pay for your ticket. So one option which I just talked about is to simply get the Presto card and use that and tap on to the GO train or the GO bus if you're taking one to pay for your fare. And just in case you are a bit confused about how to use these cards, whether you have to tap on, where to tap on, whether you have to tap off or not, then you can also check out this video up here where I explain in much detail about this tapping on and off thing. But if for whatever reason you do not want to get this Presto card yet, then you can simply get your ticket from one of the fare vending machines at the GO train station. Or you can also buy them online. You can buy an e-ticket here online. You simply go to buy e-tickets now and click your way, pay your way through it. So now let's get to the very important part about how you can save 60 to 75% on your train ticket from Toronto to Niagara Falls. So just now we've seen that a one-way ticket from from Toronto Union Station to Niagara Falls would cost you $21.15. That means that if you take the train to Niagara Falls and then back to Union Station again, in total you would need to pay $42.30 which is quite a lot of money, especially if you're traveling with your family, right? It can easily add up to $100, $200. But luckily, there is something called the Go Weekend and the Weekend Day Pass, which costs $15 and $10 each. So you can use any of these passes for any trip on the Go Transit. So let's say, for example, you were to go from Toronto to Niagara Falls on a Saturday morning and then return again in the evening. In that case, you could simply buy the Weekend Day Pass, which only costs you ten dollars that means instead of paying forty two dollars and thirty cents for the exact same trip you would only need to pay ten dollars if you're traveling as a family of four then you would need to buy four weekend day passes which would cost four times ten dollars or forty dollars compared to four times forty two dollars and thirty cents and if you want to know more about that, I also have a whole video just talking about this, which you can access here. I hope this was useful to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome trip in case you're going and I'll see you in the next video.